Good morning, PHS. Welcome to another edition of PTV News. I'm Matt Reiser, and to my left is a new face here at PHS this year, one of our marvelous co-anchors. Well, thanks, Matt. Hi, guys. I'm Nicole Clark, and we have an action-packed show coming up, so stay tuned. <laughs> and all students interested in playing baseball and or wrestling head to Mr. Wolf's room right now. He's holding a meeting to discuss their blueberry fundraiser that they will be doing Labor Day weekend. In other news, Plymouth High School Jobs for America graduates has a fundraiser on Friday, September 19th at the Ponderosa Restaurant in Plymouth. Ponderosa will donate 10% of the purchases on the benefit night to PHS JAG. However, you must have a printed coupon ticket in order for the money to go to the organization. Students and staff, please stop by Ms. Sharp's room 210 if you would like a copy of the coupon. The Brasso Bar and Girl is looking to hire a few dependable students who are looking for a reliable job. The positions are for someone seeking a part-time job during after school hours. Positions open are bus attendants, dishwash dishwasher, and fry cook. Stop by and pick up applications at the restaurant located at 225 North Michigan Street in Plymouth. Students, are you in need of completing community service hours? Marian Peters, the director of the Marshall County Solid Waste Management District here in Plymouth, is in charge of coordinating recycling at the Blueberry Festival, and she could always use more volunteers for the green team. It's not an all-weekend commitment, but it's a big help, especially between 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. when the festival is crowded and there is a need for a lot of recycling going on during Labor Day weekend. If you know of anyone who fits the description, please have him or her contact Mary Ann Peters. All the info is on our PTD website, accessible via the PHS website. Oh, and there will be a kickoff meeting next week at the Blueberry office. More details to follow on our website. Whoa, I'm starving. What's on the menu for lunch today? Well, today we are having pizza crunchers, green beans, Cheez-Its, and of course, the fruit and veggie bar. My, that sounds delicious. I can't wait. It's time for PTV Sports. I'm Hasey Zay. I'm Hasey B. I'm Warren Garcia. I'm Devin Britton. I'm Nicole with PTV Sports. Stay tuned for details. Last week, the Rockies faced off against the Bremen Lions in the home opener right here at the Rock Pile. PTV's Tyson Matheny and Juan Garcia were both covering the season opener for us from on top of the new press box and down on the field. The Rockies ended the scoreboard in the second quarter when QB Dylan Johnson found Nate Nixon in the end zone for a touchdown which ended the scoring in the first half. The Rockies went on to rack up the points. The final score was Plymouth 30, Bremen 3. Unfortunately, we had to forfeit the game due to a technical. But before we find out, we caught up with Coach Barron, and this is what he had to say. We are. Uh, we'll watch film tonight and tomorrow and, and get ready to play Rochester uh, with the only traveling trophy. It's called a hickory stick. We go on the road down there and play them, so uh, they'll be a tough opponent, but uh, I'm confident our guys will get ready to play. If you don't already know, Plymouth High School has a new revamped football stadium containing new bleachers, restrooms, and a concession building. For years, we've seen Phil and John sweating away outside the rock pile before home games, grilling their amazing and widely popular hamburgers and hot dogs. But with all the changes that got us wondering, if those juicy burgers taste the same, now they're being made indoors. This past Friday, Devin Britton went behind the scenes to check it out. Devin, what did you find out? Well, you guys, I'm here at the Rock Pile tonight. I just got word with Kathy Shelf about the newly built concession stands. They have so much more in addition. 
Kathy and her team have been so excited to work indoors. They are very appreciative of this new and higher privilege of changing over. This has been a huge step. Honestly, I, I've been telling uh, my entire team and it's taking an army to pull this off tonight because we have been crazy busy. But we went from a trailer to a mansion is what we did. So we're, we are happy with what we have in here, definitely. As many know, having home football games means you get the best of the best hamburgers and hot dogs. But we asked Kathy if they tested and tasted the food to see if it was the same taste as the original. This is what she had to say. We did. We tested the grill uh, through this week just to make sure we wanted to see what the difference was between cooking on a charcoal grill outside and coming indoors to an electric grill just to see what the difference in taste would be. And it's still amazing. Kathy says this year looks very promising. She says she and her team of volunteers will certainly give it their all to serve all the fans. Here at the newly built Rock Pile, I'm Devin Gritton with PTV Sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Devin, for that awesome report. Well, speaking of Football Friday, it's here once again. Today is the second football game of the season at Rochester. It's not that far of a drive, so you certainly don't want to miss this one. Make sure you come out and support your Rockies at 7 p.m. We want to give props to Jesus Baca for making this awesome graphic in his digital design art class. Then this Saturday, come out to Plymouth High School to watch the volleyball power ball tourney starting at 8.30 in the morning. Last week's PTV trivia time question was, what state had two official languages? The answer, according to my online source, is New Mexico. The classroom that called in the right answer first was Melissa Falstich's room. Photojournalist Juan Garcia and our PTV crew delivered their sweet prize, a bag of Krispy Kreme donuts. Congrats to Mrs. Falstich and her class for being our first PTV trivia winners this school year, and of course, getting our trivia question right. Speaking of trivia time, it's time for this week's PHS trivia time. The first caller to call our PTV studios with the correct answer today will win a prize for their whole SRT class. So for the prize, the question is, what is the longest river in the world? If you know the answer, call extension 1241 right now. Again, the question is, what is the longest river in the world? Call extension 1241 if you think you know the right answer. You'll have your prize delivered to your room soon. FYI, just like last year, we are asking previous homeroom winners who have already won this month to please refrain from calling. So other homerooms have a shot winning as well. Well, that's all we have for you guys. Again, I'm Matt Reisner. See you back here next Thursday. And I'm Nicole Clark. Have a great weekend. Go Rockies!